Hi everyone, my name is Kenny Heindel. I'm a product marketing manager for NAM and I'll be walking you through this demo today. This demo is all about SaaS. Network Performance Server, or NPS, displacement is coming at the end of 2023, and if you want to keep your existing reporting features, you'll need to upgrade to the Optic Data Lake. NAM reporting SaaS is the easiest, cheapest, and fastest way to do that. It's less costly than an on-prem deployment, and you benefit from having the database managed by experts with experience in Vertica and Kubernetes. This demo environment has NNMI on-prem with a non-reporting SaaS deployment. We'll start in the local instance of NNMI and then move on to the SaaS reporting instance. Let's start out by selecting a node. That's going to open up NNMI's analysis pane where you can see a few different ways to view performance data, like utilization and volume. This is all data coming from the SAS reporting deployment. Next, let's open up a dashboard. Here, you can see historical data about this particular CI. You'll notice this is all through HTTPS, and the way we get the data into the SAS instance from NNMI is secure. It's all pushed one way from the data center, so there's no pull from the cloud into the data center. It's also been optimized for responsiveness. You shouldn't notice any lag in the SAS instance. So that was the NNMI UI. Note the URL. We're still in the local environment, but now we'll move over to troubleshooting. This UI is actually in the SAS instance. The node we had selected in the NNMI UI is pre-selected here. Now we'll select a few different operations, which are the same whether you're using SAS or on-prem. You can select metrics, change the time, anything you want to build out your custom dashboards in the SAS instance. You can even share them with other operators, just like you would on-prem. Let's check out another important feature, BBD dashboards and reports. Again, this will bring us back into the SAS instance, and this report is the same that you'd get from an on-prem reporting instance. You've got these different widgets, different reporting options here at the bottom. And once again, this is all through HTTPS. It's all secure. We've built this to be nearly identical to on-prem on reporting. We want operators to have a seamless experience here. Without looking at the URL, they really wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. The UIs are cross-launchable. The data is secure. Operators should be pretty happy with it. As the tool administrator, though, you might want to look under the hood, so to speak, and check on the health of the SaaS service. For that, you can see the system health dashboard. You can see SLA, the history of SLA, how it's been changing over time. It shows incidents that have occurred in the past 90 days. And below, you can see the details surrounding the incident. It also shows if there's any scheduled maintenance planned. To wrap things up, whether you go on-prem or SaaS, just remember NPS is going away in December of 2023. We know setting up the optic data lake can be a burden, but that's why we created non-reporting SaaS with its near instant on deployment, expertly managed database, and lower cost of ownership. Thanks for watching.